Today is Monday, May 16th, 2009. Uh, this is Jason Burroughs with Diesel Green Fuels. Uh, today I changed some of the plumbing parts on the cavitation system and I want to walk you through some of those changes and show you the way our system is set up today. Um, this is our oil and methanol. Obviously it's just laboratory setting. There's no, um, it's not production scale or anything like that. So we've got the oil to the left um, and right now it's oil from a local restaurant that titrated at about one, one gram per liter of KOH. Uh, then next to that we have the methoxide, which in this case is, uh, I used 17 or 16 grams of KOH with two liters of methoxide. It had about four gallons of oil there, uh, the limiting factor being the amount of methoxide. So the oil and the methoxide go into um, this section here which is uh, just a T so that they get combined. Um, if you notice, this tube is one eighth of an inch where this tube is one quarter inch. So this tube being half the diameter winds up being um, one quarter the flow rate. So we've tested that. I might have that number wrong. Maybe this one's half and this one's one quarter. But anyway, it comes out to being uh, one quarter the flow rate. Uh, we have a little strainer here and then a union just to make disassembly easier. Um, here we have a pump which is three quarter horsepower mated to a uh, 150 psi 4.4 uh, gallon per minute gear pump. So motor and gear pump are both from Dayton. Uh, we bought them from Granger and assembled it ourselves. Um, this is a pressure relief valve which is dialed in to um, flow out of this tube if the pressure ever gets over 150 psi just for safety. Another union just to make this assembly easier and then here we have our gauge which is a psi goes up to 200 psi we want it to be right at 125. Then here's our uh, ball valve just to stop the flow if we need to. Um, then the gate valve is where we control how much flow goes through. Um, the point of that is to raise the pressure up to 125. So we start with it open, turn it on, and then get the pressure up to 125 PSI. Uh, then notice here how this is one quarter inch, and then it jumps up to one half inch, then three quarter inch, and then there's a gauge here. The point of that change in diameter is that the pressure after the gate valve, which is similar to an orifice plate, which uh, a lot of people are using with cavitation. So we're using this gate valve instead of an orifice plate because it's so much simpler to fine tune on the fly. So the pressure here is 125 PSI and here it's zero because there's no pressure past that point. So the, this 150 PSI drop is what causes the cavitation which induces this intense mixing. Now after that point we've got a T here. Um, this one goes into down here below the same place that the, uh, the other bypass goes and then this one goes to where we want to make our biodiesel and send it off into its final tank. The point of this T is so that uh, because this is so sensitive and has to be adjusted every single time, we start with this one open, uh, the gate valve all the way open, and we have this bypass on, open, and then this one closed. So we start out with it open and this pressure's at zero. We turn the gate valve slowly until it gets to 125 PSI. Then we come over here, we open this valve, close this valve, and then suddenly we're flowing good biodiesel. That way we don't have to worry about unreacted biodiesel uh, making its way into here before the pressure's at the right point. So that's our little solution for that. Um, so that's our cavitation system. And um, we made our first batch yesterday and actually one the day before. Um, today I've made another batch using uh, used oil instead of the virgin oil. And this is one gallon. Uh, I made about one gallon. The nice thing about the cavitation system, because it's sort of a continuous flow system, you don't have to mix all the methoxide and have the oil measured out and then dump them all in and then you know do a batch. As long as you have the same oil, you can titrate it once and then uh, you can make a, a gallon, five gallons, an, an ounce, whatever you want to make, you can make using and just turn it off when you're ready to stop. So I'm going to leave this to settle. It's been about five minutes so far, maybe eight minutes and uh, hoping that it will settle out nicely and then I can wash it and dry it.